Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to Accuracy is Needed. I'm gonna give you a little pan around and show you what we've got to do today. what we're doing today guys I'll give you a little tour through on what we've got to do as you can see this black handle here the customers had a go at painting it and I've just wiped it off now with a little bit of thinner so it's coming off we've got to clean all this black off and then we've got to proper get this sanded up correctly to put the primers down like an etch primer down to this which will adhere to it then we can go with the black base coat and then it will be a satin finish on the handle. Where you've got the logo here, on this side, this side's actually blank. So the customer wanted a the same logo, but in like color. So we're gonna get a miniature sticker made, because this is absolutely tiny here, and get an inlaid sticker in there. And we will clear over that piece there and seal the sticker in. So I'll stick you in time lapses. Enjoy the video, see you in the first time lapse. <laughs> Stage. In that time lapse, we have cleaned all the black paint off with thinners on a rag, nice and slowly clean off. Didn't want any thinners to run down and start leaking onto the plastic stand or anything like that. Cleaned it all off. Then I masked it out in fine one mil fine line, went round all round to get a nice even round the handle, and then masked it off bagged the rest of it off so we don't get any overspray over these pieces round here and then I've gone in and then I've scuffed back sanded back all the anodizing where we've got to paint it so the first bit of paint on this is going to be an etch primer I'm going to do a light coat of etch primer and just etch it all round let that go off then we're going to go in with some black base coat drop a bit of black base coat down not too thick just get nice coverage I got some logos printed. We've got some tiny little logos printed out on this piece of paper. I've just got to chop around them. Then we can insert a little sticker logo on that skull up there. The actual stickers have been laminated as well, so we've not got a clear coat over them. We can just drop a sticker in there, job done, and then he's got the logo the opposite side on the actual compound bow. So I'm going to get some etch primer and we're gonna get this dropped in with the PS2 910 and the fan cap, nice small airbrush fan cap, and get in all them little intricate pieces. So I'll see you in the next time lapse. Excuse the noise, I've got the extractor running. We've got the first coat of black down. So we drop the etch down. Nice light coat of that, not really, really heavy. Just a nice silk coat all over. Let that go off. 
and now we've got the first coat of black down so it's gone down a lot smoother and even using the brush instead of like an aerosol can aerosol cans tend to just build up really quick you've got a little bit more precision and accuracy when you're using an airbrush so we'll give this another couple of coats and then we're good for clear coating so i'll see you in the next time lapse stage got a drop of clear on it so it's looking a lot better than it did from original it'll be a little bit more hard wearing than an aerosol can that's gone on there just gonna let this dry down and then we can demask it put the sticker on and it should be good to go so that's it for now I'll let this dry down and I'll see you in a bit when we're putting the sticker on and demasking Right guys, we are all finished. We've got it all demasked. I'll pan around now and show you the finished result. So there you go. That's the black satin handle on the compound bow all done. All nice clean edge where I've done the one mil fine line. So that's a nice clean masked out line all the way around there. And we've dropped the colored logo that he wanted on that scallop in there. Just let this cure right down and then it's good to go back for the customer. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video guys on the compound bow, and I hope you can join me in tomorrow's video because we're doing something different again. I'm jumping onto a pair of Lambretta side panels for a full repaint on two side panels. So I'll take you through a process on them. Don't forget if you're new to the channel, click that subscribe, press that notification, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video guys. Cheers. <laughs>